That's me. And this is my friend Wade. And we traveled halfway across the world to visit 16 theme parks in 20 days, all across the United States of America. We give you our full ride reviews. <laughs> wow. Favorite ride ever. We bring you on ride. <laughs> and give you our full thoughts on every single theme park we visited. Wow. Such a good park. Incredible park. This is the USA Theme Park Road Trip 2023. Yo! Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to our day two vlog here at Dollywood, this incredible theme park yeah. in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Now, there's a lot of things we didn't do yesterday, uh, including the train. Definitely want to get on the train today have a look around and then there's a lot of more more shops that we didn't go in we just bypassed them we wanted to get on all the rides yesterday um, but yeah we're gonna get on some re-rides today some of our favorites today and um, yeah we'll have a look around the park and um, come along now yesterday this was actually closed and they've actually opened it today so we're gonna get to go inside Dolly's home on wheels how awesome let's go for a look how do you come right on in? Here's a look inside it here. It's quite big actually. Wow. Beds. Oh wow. What a room. How cool is that? Little TV? Little bathroom? Wow, this would have been awesome to travel in. Pretty cool, eh? Very cool. Very cool. There we go. Here's a look at the front. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're currently making our way down to Lightning Rod for another re-ride. Hopefully we can get more towards the back. We're at row nine, and there's, I think, 12 rows in this one. So um, hopefully we can get row 12. Hopefully it's a bit better, um, but you never know until you get on. So hopefully it's running a bit faster. 20 minute advertised r wait. Um, yeah, super excited to get back on Lightning Rod. Incredible RMC here at Dollywood. Some really cool theming in the queue line here. Really well done. The theming at this park is incredible, but yeah, it's absolutely awesome. And they're actually running two trains today, which is really great to see. Must be doing some maintenance on the other train yesterday, but yeah, really great operations from Dollywood here. So we're in row 11 this time. Row 11. Hopefully it's a bit faster, a bit more air time, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Let's go for our ride on Lightning Rod. Here's the speed limit. Congratulations. When you are lightning fast, hot rod comes to a complete stop. Push up on your restraint and exit to the left your body. At all times, please remain seated upright, facing forward with your back to the Well, we've just had our second ride there on Lightning Rod. Running two trains today, which is great to see. That's what I forgot to mention yesterday. The operations here, 100 times better than Six Flags that we were at the other day. The operations are really good at here at Dollywood. Um, I found that a lot better than yesterday. Yeah, you can enjoy it a lot more. It wasn't raining in your eyes. Yeah, it was raining yesterday when we were on it. But um, yeah, pretty good air time on there. Yeah. Especially on that quad down. That quad down is, is insane. Um, Probably still not my favorite at the park, but it's probably moved up in the ranks. It's probably second or third favorite for me. 
Um, I do enjoy Wild Eagle and Thunderhead. Not too sure where it falls in, in there, but um, it's a great RMC. Enjoyable RMC. Yeah. Not one of the best, but it's still a great RMC. And there's also some cars you can get on here as well at Dollywood. Drive around, good for the good for the little ones. Drive these little ones around, these little rods. And we're making our way towards the Dollywood train now. Super excited to experience this. We've been seeing it go around the park, blasting its... Do trains have a horn? <laughs> horn, I guess, blasting its horn and yeah, it, it looks amazing. Cannot wait to ride. So yeah, come along for some highlights of the train ride. And we're off on the Dollywood Express. We'll show you some highlights along the way. Uh, awesome views of Thunderhead. What an awesome GCI that is. Where she was commissioned as part of the United States Army. They're waiting to you from the Thunderhead. That's the wildest ride in the woods. Five time award winning wooden coaster. Some great views here of Big Bear Mountain, which we got on yesterday. If you haven't, go back and check out our day one vlog here at Dollywood. In 1960, that's engine number 192. Oh, incredible views of the park. And you can join me in Oakdale and we the Big Bear and our newest edition, Big Bear Mountain. There we go. Leave them by on the right hand side. It's a triple launch family coaster that hits the feet of 48 miles per hour. It takes you behind a waterfall and through a tunnel. It's the first of our here Dollywood to feature onboard audio. Also, our longest roller coaster here, 4,000 feet long, and you only have to be 39 inches long. Right. And we're making our way all the way up into the Smoky Mountains now. The Smokies are a never-ending song that changes with each season and with each and every pair of eyes. That was so long. <laughs> that was so long. Love you or below you, you're hanging on either side of the track. Well, we've just been on the Dollywood Express and it's absolutely awesome because it's a coal-powered steam train. Oh, yeah. You get the smell of the smoke 
Um, yeah, it smells awesome. And it takes you all the way up into the Smoky Mountains. Uh, my favorite part is the, the views you get of the theme park. Oh, you can see every, nearly every ride. Yeah, nearly every ride in the park you can see. It's, it's great views. Definitely something to not miss when you come to Dollywood. Absolutely. And um, yeah, it's an awesome, awesome train ride. Oh, we had an awesome ride there on the Dollywood train. We've come to look at some mountain blown glass now. Let's go have a look. So it looks like they're not doing it today, but this is where they actually do it. All in here. We've got the furnaces in there. And then this is what they've made. Absolutely incredible. This must be a lot of practice of being able to do shapes and stuff like this. That's incredible. Unfortunately, I don't think it would make it back in our suitcase in one piece, but um, yeah, there's absolutely a lot here that they've made and that's incredible. Well, we've just made our way up into this section of the park and there's actually a flat ride here that I totally missed yesterday. It's called the Barnstormer, manufactured by SNS. Uh, it's a screaming swing model. And um, yeah, I didn't even know this was here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go for a ride and um, I think Wade's gonna sit this one out and might get some off-ride footage for me. So, let's go for a ride. just been for a ride on the Barnstormer. Yeah, it's an okay flat ride. Uh, you get a bit of air time actually when you're facing straight down at the ground, uh, which is pretty cool, but um, yeah, nothing to rave about, but a, a cool flat ride here at Dollywood. And there's lots of really cool stores here at Dollywood. Some really cool merch. There's some cinnamon bread merch. I might pick that up. That cinnamon bread is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, really cool stuff here. Some Dollywood Mountain Maple Honey. Yeah, so many things here to buy. Just don't think we can bring it back to Australia. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. But yeah, we've also got some Dolly Parton merch. Very cool. Yeah, so much to buy here, so much on offer. And yeah, we've got some a candle store here. It's just every single thing is is themed. Everything, everywhere you look, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, that smells nice in here. Smells very nice. Incredible. That's a waste of money. That's a lot of work for a little bit of money. That's a waste of money. Most people don't eat them and wind up throwing away. You know, I'm gonna eat them for that. You know, some corn and potatoes. Then we have, like I said, we have buddy's barbecue too. Jay, we're heading into the blacksmith now. Looks like they're making some sort of tools and. I love the smell of fire.
And yeah, here's a look at everything they've made. Well, we've only been into a couple of stores now and it just shows how cool Dollywood is. Oh yeah. It's so much more than just the rides. You can come and experience things, go through walkthroughs. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Definitely get yourself out to this park. It's absolutely amazing. And they've also got a flume ride here called Daredevil Falls. We won't be bothering going on this one, but it actually looks really good. Show you some off-ride shots of Daredevil Falls. Alright, I said we weren't going to do it. But we've just logged and it, it actually looks really incredible. So we're going to go for a ride. We're going to get moist. But yeah, we'll, we'll see when we come off. Daredevil Falls. Just had a ride on Daredevil Falls, and there wasn't actually a restraint on that. No. It's like the exact same boats uh, back home at Wild West Falls, exact same boats, but no restraint. Just, just sit there and hope you don't, hope you don't fly out. But um, yeah, it's quite a mid uh, flume ride for me. Yeah. Uh, I definitely take Wild West Falls back at home. Um, the the probably the best part is just looking at that drop off ride. It, it looks awesome off ride, but yeah, the ride itself. Not many dark ride scenes, and when we were in those dark ride scenes, there wasn't any music at all. It was just kind of dead silent, so... Very mid. Yeah, very mid of a flume oh, ride. And, yeah, there's actually a mining area. I would say it's for kids, but um, you can mine for gems here. Super cool. Dollywood thinks of everything when it comes to families and... Yeah, they're blowing it out of the park. All right, it's time for a re-ride on Wild Eagle, the park's B&M flying coaster. We did this one twice yesterday and we absolutely loved it. So yeah, let's go for another ride on Wild Eagle. And just as we're coming to line up for Wild Eagle, you can see the wait time's quite a quiet day here, but you can also see that lightning rod is temporarily closed, so yeah, it just shows the reliability of that ride. Luckily we got on it first. That's definitely my tip. Definitely go to it first and get on Lightning Rod. And yeah, another walk-on ride here at Dollywood. How awesome. Straight on to Wild Eagle. Here's a look at the restraints. Super cool. Just had our third ride there on Wild Eagle. That's probably one of my favorites in the park, if not my favorite. Just, it's so relaxing, not too intense. The zero G roll being as a wing coaster is so awesome. It's awesome. It's such a great ride. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Definitely check it out if you're here at Dollywood. Oh, yeah. All right, it's time for a re-ride on Fire Chaser Express. We absolutely love this family coaster yesterday. Such an awesome family coaster. One of the best we've ever done. So yeah, let's go get back on this incredible family coaster.
just been on Fire Chase Express, easily one of the best family coasters. That um, firework scene and the fire in there is absolutely awesome. I really hope that we can get some fire effects in Australia back at home because it just makes the attraction so much better in my opinion. Do, do you agree, Wade? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fire is so much better in attractions. Not too sure on the regulations in Australia about fire in attractions, but um, it would be awesome if we could get something like that. Making our way back into Timber Canyon right now. Home to Mystery Mine. This is one of my favourite rides, actually. And it probably would be my favourite ride if it had lap bars, but it doesn't. It's it's absolutely awesome. Just It just... If they would update it to have the lap bars, it would be awesome. There's also this track here that they re-modified um, in, I think, 2021. It used to actually go over and down here, but um, they re-modified the track. I'm not too sure why, but um, yeah, let's go for another ride on Mystery Mine. One of my favorite attractions here at Dollywood. Yeah, here's a look at the restraints just over the shoulder. It's just a bit bulky and there's a slight rattle on it which can shake your head side to side so yeah it's unfortunate but um still a great ride well we just had our read ride there on mystery mine such a good coaster the dark ride scenes are probably my favorite yeah. that um bit when you get right up to the top of the final drop that's awesome um yeah it just would benefit from lap bars that's for sure anyway we're making our way down back towards the front of the park now um we might grab some cinnamon bread and um, we're going to finish up our day here at dollywood and as you're coming down back towards the front of the park you get a great view of lightning rod up in the mountains there it's absolutely incredible what a location for a park what a location for an rmc had to finish the day with some cinnamon bread. We got some apple butter this time for a change. But yeah, we couldn't finish our trip here to Dollywood without some cinnamon bread. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. All right, we've got the apple butter this time. See how that goes. Mmm. Works well with it. Very good. Mm. Well, here's the aftermath of the cinnamon bread. Look at all the leftover cinnamon. They pack so much cinnamon in there. But it's so tasty. I might have put on a few kilos, but it's so tasty. So good. How was yours? Filling so much on Filling. Yeah, there's a lot of icing on yours. You got the cinnamon roll? Yeah. So, yeah. All right, we're going to head outside the park and we will wrap up our time here at Dollywood. Well, that wraps up our time here at Dollywood. Wow, what a theme park. What a park. What a park. I could probably spend three days here. Probably two's enough yeah but you could probably spend about three days here and just take your time and relax and and go around the park uh three standout rides for me i want to say wild eagle yep thunderhead yeah and lightning rod for me what about you yeah i can agree with those yep i think mystery mine is also a great ride yeah. um but if it had the lap bars then it will make it even better but um yeah, along with that, the family coasters here are, are world-class, I would say. World-class family, co family coasters. Big Bear Mountain, Fire Chaser Express. Amazing, amazing. It's, it's definitely a family theme park. Definitely one you can bring your whole family to, your grandparents, your kids. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely stunning. The theming is next level. And, yeah, it's quite sad to leave. But we have to go now because we're driving... E uh, west. West? East. 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 <laughs> we're driving east because we're going to Carowinds tomorrow. Um, and just as we were getting off the tram there, we uh, just heard a little uh, tornado warning. 
<laughs> just a little tornado warning for Tennessee. So um, we're going to outrun a, a tornado right now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll, we'll um, see you guys in the next video at Carowinds. But if you guys like this video, go down there, subscribe, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.